Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. So this is a rare Sunday flight for me, but I had a great reason because I had the awesome opportunity to meet Felix from the What About It channel and the crew that helps support the production of all of the great information that they have about the space industry today. They were just coming out of Florida from covering the NASA Artemis mission. They were with McGregor watching some of the engine testing for SpaceX. And they're on the way down to Starbase to see the continued testing of the Starship and the booster. And they came through Giga Texas. I had a great opportunity to meet with them. In fact, we had so much good time. I forgot to get any video or very many photos. But as you can see here, Felix brought the Y uh, decked out uh, Model Y with the uh, great uh, graphics and the heat shield tile uh, motif. And he's wearing an apron that I got him because you can't come to Texas without having an apron to have barbecue. So anyway, take a look at his channel. The link is here on the slide, also down in the video description. If you haven't seen their channel, it's really worth seeing. And again, it was just great meeting him and the whole crew and uh, just a great opportunity. I'm glad I'm able to share that with you. And the other reason why I was flying on Sunday is that I had some interesting information that has to do with Boring Company and making a tunnel here at Giga Texas. And I've got some details about where that will be and some speculation about what it may be for. So to do that, I'm going to go through just some highlights uh, of some indicators and some clues along the way and put the whole thing into a bigger picture and into context for you. And I hope that you enjoy this presentation and the information and the excitement that uh, Boring Company is about to begin work here at Giga Texas. So let's put some of the pieces together. On my 10 November video, I talked about a new land purchase that was made. It's about 600 acres. It was published in Tesla Rati article, as you can see. And in the inset map here, you can see where it's located on the far southeast corner. And it included the horse ranch that is on the south side of the river. Now, what was this? Four, at the time, we weren't really sure. There was a lot of speculation, but let's continue to put some pieces together to try to figure it out. Now, a little later on my 11 April video, right after Cyber Rodeo, we got these renders from Cyber Rodeo itself and from Giga Texas. And from that, we were able to discern some interesting details. Specifically, if you look at the larger inset uh, rendering here, the arrows are showing you a perimeter road that wraps around the south and over to the east side of the property. So let's continue to put the pieces together. Shortly after that, on the 25th of April, the Boring Company filed a permit to build a warehouse on the south side of the Colorado River in that new property area that uh, was just purchased a few months before. As you can see here, there's some extensive drawings about where this warehouse would be. And again, it's about 220,000 square feet, about $11 million. And with these inset photos, it gives you an idea about where this is located. It's on a grassy area near the power plant on the south side. And then just on Friday, I showed you a new clearing location on the southeast side, just north of the Colorado River, where it appears that a road is being manufactured and some soil sampling drilling was underway in the trees, as you can see by these images. This is also in generally the same location as in the rendering where that perimeter road was going to be constructed. And then finally today, we have information that the Boring Company is building a tunnel underneath the Colorado River and it's not in a place where we initially expected. In fact, it's up near the battery cathode plant. And you can see by the inset photo where that tunnel will be. And it will extend from the Far East trailer location near the battery cathode plant under the river and over to a small island, which is also part of that land purchase that Tesla made late last year. You can also see the existing road on the south side of the Colorado River, Falwell Lane, that gives an additional access point to that island location and provides a direct connection to where the Boring Company warehouse will be built. Now, I have some additional details about the Boring Tunnel itself, and I'll cover that in future videos, but I want to put this whole thing together into a big picture to suggest what this is about. And again, this is somewhat speculation, but it is based on all of this evidence to date. Now, Tesla mentioned that there was going to be a nature area and a boardwalk open to the public near Giga, Texas. And I think that's what we're seeing. As you can see in the map here, River Road has been created on the west side of the highway, and it goes underneath at the South Bridge all along 
towards where this new perimeter road is being built. It also leads you right to where the boring tunnel entrance will be and it will allow public to then take the tunnel over to this island. And I believe that this island, which also has a very large lake as you can see, may be that nature area. So now that you have in context all of these developments that have been going on for the last nearly year with the land purchase, with the permits for warehousing, and now of course with the boring tunnel uh, getting ready to begin, let's take the drone, let's go on a flight, I'll show you where all of these areas are located and how they appear in relation to each other so that hopefully this puts everything into context. Thank you again for watching and let's get ready for the video. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga, Texas. I thought I'd start off on the far south end near where the warehouse for the boring company, at least according to the documents, it may be constructed. In fact, where it looks like it will be constructed is somewhere in this green field. And again, this green field all the way up to the north, including the lake and that island that we talked about in the beginning of the video, was all part of that land purchase that was made late uh, last fall. And uh, this is the horse ranch that you can see coming underneath the drone. And this location, I, for what I understand, will be under a lease for the next five years so that it can continue to be a horse ranch, but it also allows further construction for Giga Texas and specifically the location up at that island and the access point up for the boring tunnel. So I'm going to fly back towards the west really quickly along where the Colorado River is because I want to show you where River Road is and how it extends all the way across the west side of the highway to Highway 973, which would give an access point to the public and then follow back to the east where that road would be constructed. So as we approach the roadway, the center highway here, you can see busy, you can see the road going off into the distance. That is River Road. You can see how it goes under the south bridge and it connects over to where the material storage on the south end currently is located. But you can also see where they've got this roadway. Currently they're using it for construction vehicles. But if we follow it, continue to the east, you can see how it will pass through where these trees are and you can see where the clearing is already being constructed, heading off to the east for where this perimeter road could continue. Now there are two options here. You can see one on the right, one in the center. I believe it's the one in the center that is of interest for this perimeter road. So let's follow it along towards the east and see how it is developing. Now this development of this road began not too long ago. This is a fairly recent uh, development. And as we approach this clearing location, this is where on Friday, the 9th of September, I saw the crews doing the test boring of the soil uh, basically trying to find out what the strength is here so that they can determine what would be needed for construction of the road. So let's go ahead and look at this here. This uh, right onto the left side of the screen is where that uh, drilling was going underway. And as we continue here, we see more of the equipment set uh, here into this particular clearing. I'll try to give a little bit closer view. As you can see, it was a little bit windy today as well. so. Uh, one of the things to take into account, but you can see with this close-up uh, more preparation for drilling and uh, again, it's all along this location that really does look like the beginnings of a road and it matches up fairly closely to the rendering that Tesla provided at Cyber Rodeo. So as we continue following the road, it'll take you over to this particular location which has recently been seeing a lot of earthwork and they've done this prepared surface onto the left here where all the equipment and the trailers are located and this is to help relocate quite a bit of materials from the location in the center where they're doing the widening of the warehouse on wheels but also it's going to allow for some movement of trailers and materials in the location where according to 
the documents that I have about the boring tunnel uh, where they will be doing the entrance on this side of the, ri the river and then drilling under the river over to the east. So what I'm doing here is I'm just setting up this shot near this old Martin Marietta maintenance location. You can see where all the trucks are here on the left hand side of the screen. In the middle where these red and white trailers are, this is approximately where the entrance to the boring tunnel will be made. And this view gives you a pretty good idea of some of the equipment that is here right now and what will have to be relocated, at least some of it, to allow for that boring uh, operation to begin. Now, I do not know when that actually will take place, but uh, based on the, the documents and based on the fact that they were filed uh, earlier this year, it suggests that we may see that operation beginning sooner than later. And of course, where the Martin Marietta servicing location is right here, this could be turned into a large parking lot, which would allow the public to bring their cars parked there and then take the tunnel under the bridge, under the river, right where we're flying the drone and across over to the small island, which is where we're at right now. And you can see the cell tower here and the clearing location. According to the documents that uh, I have and what you could see from what I presented at the beginning of the video, this clearing location is approximately where a concrete pad would be constructed. And this conceivably could be where the vehicle is coming out of the tunnel would turn around and then proceed back. Now the tunnel itself is about 2,500 feet or about 675 meters in length. And again, it will go underneath the river and uh, it will allow access to this small island. And you can see it's got really good views and access to this lake. So it would be great to take a boat out. Uh, they could build some docks perhaps on the south part of this island. They could configure quite a bit of this location to be a great place for the public to come out and uh, uh, hang out with the trees, maybe picnic, walk around, hike. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities here, and as I get to the eastern boundary of the island, I will look back towards the main factory, and this will give you, I hope, a pretty good perspective of what we're talking about as far as the location and uh, how it would appear towards the factory. Now, I'm just giving you a little view of the lakefront property that would be here, and perhaps, again, opportunities maybe for some uh, boat ramps or for other uh, access to that lake. I'm gonna just give you a little bit closer view here to near the cell tower and this clearing location as well. Also, the dirt road that you see here on the left of the screen, that is the Falwell Lane extension. And this continues over towards the horse ranch on the south side of the Colorado River and has a entry point near where State Highway 130 is located as well. So. This is also could give access to the Boring Company warehouse, which was proposed to be built on the south side of the river in that location. So I think all these pieces are starting to come together, and uh, uh, I hope that uh, the context I gave you in the intro and with the video here showing you where all these locations are is very helpful. If you have any thoughts or comments, put them in the comment section of the video. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. As I pan the drone back here, you can just see the landing on the east side of the uh, main factory location uh, and the river. And then further, you can see the island and where the end of the boring tunnel would terminate. So pretty much that entire location under the river would be where the boring tunnel is located. So I'm gonna pull the drone back a little bit from that location, to show you where we are in relation to the battery cathode plant and some of the progress that is going on up here. One of the most active things today on a Sunday is this earthwork that is continuing to move dirt from this location. Some of it's going to the east, some of it is coming up a little bit north and they're continuing to fill in more of the ponds and generally just reclaiming this location. And as you can see by the video, it's continuing to get larger and larger. So I'm continuing to monitor this to see what develops here as well. But 
you can also get an idea of where this location is, the battery cathode plant, and where that boring tunnel will begin. thought I'd fly us over just uh, for a high altitude look at what's going on with the new permanent electrical substation construction site. Uh, here on the north end you can just see the rebar cages are still waiting for the drilling operation to begin so they can start installing them and you can see the overall preparation of the grade uh, for the construction site itself here on the left hand side of the screen. Now on the right side of the screen, this triangular area, eventually that will be made into a rectangle and that is where the mega pack installation will happen. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short and rare Sunday video. It was great seeing Felix and the What About It team and uh, I also hope that you enjoyed all of the information. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great weekend.